you doing? We're looking at plastics in the Inner Harbor and in, around Toronto, especially close to water treatment effluents. We'll uh, put the net in the water and it skims the surface, picking up any small pieces of plastic that might be floating in the water. And then we pull that net up, we rinse it down and collect all the plastics that were in the net uh, into a jar. Just even through the mesh, some pieces, some white and some blue pieces, those are plastics, but we'll see more once we take everything out and clean it. All right, can you take it up a bit, Double D? We found plastics in every sample that we've collected so far this summer. And then there are some pieces of plastic that are probably in there that we can't see. That's a plastic piece there. You can tell just because of the color, there's nothing, there's nothing that bright and blue in nature. So this sample um, goes to the laboratory to be sifted through and the final count will be given after the analysis. These plastics are found almost everywhere in the Great Lakes where people swim and drink and, and, and fish. Um, we don't fully understand the effects of um, breaking down plastics, what it does to toxins in the water, and also what happens to it when it accumulates up in the food chain. We need to care more about how we use plastics and try to keep these from going into the lakes because once they're in the lakes, they'll just break down to smaller and smaller pieces. They never fully disappear.